It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next. From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. And tonight we've got an AFC matchup in store for you as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one carries out of the side of the end zone for a touchback. So that will come out now to the 25-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they will be let out by their 6-3 quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Here now second and nine from the 39-yard line. Now Kelly. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 40. 21 yards there on third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Now a first down throw, Kelly. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Oh, no gain 
knee on the play, and it'll bring up third. But one of the things we talked about coming into this one is we're never going to question the fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Up the middle they go. Simpson. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Here's second and ten. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Now Kelly. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Kelly. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And his kick is good. And the Bills opening drive yields three. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly didn't waste any time throwing some deep passes here. But the defense, it wasn't unexpected. They told their secondary, be ready. You're going to be tested all night by this team. Second and ten. Now it's Elway. Forced out to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. 
I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now will throw. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Out of the gun, Elway. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Elway to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Elway now off of play action. Rolling. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3.
So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost yeah. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, Joy, right? Because that's what you get. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Pat Sertan. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and ten. After the interception, here's Elway. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Elway to throw. Very quickly there, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Elway. And that will be incomplete as well. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now on fourth down, Sean Payton's going to turn it over to the field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, they'll be disappointed with that effort. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Kelly. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw, Kelly. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The, the route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. On first and 10, Kelly. And Diggs has it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Yeah. 
Second down in the yard. A play fake. Now Kelly. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Kelly to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. They dialed up a third and one blitz defensively. It worked. Yeah, and a lot of people would think, hey, they thought pass and they guessed right. In a lot of cases, you bring the blitz just to mess up the blocking on a running play. Instead, in this situation, the run wasn't there. They just followed everything right back to the quarterback. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So all field goals so far, 6-3 our score as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, a little time? closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And they'll come up second and seven. To throw is Elway. He finds his man complete. That's little. Seven yards there and a first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On first, they'll throw with Elway. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Elway. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. Third and 20. Here's Elway. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Six three is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down.
They go back to the ground now with Davis. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second and 10. Now it's Elway. This is Smith with a grab. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then, and now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Look at the throw. Elway. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Davis is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Third and goal, Elway. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They're not going to kick it. A chip shot, but they're going for it down three on fourth down. They'll try and run for it here with Cornus. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Bills' goal line stand is going to get them the football back. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Here's a second and five. Now Kelly. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They run with Thomas. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out 
Do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Looking to throw on second. Here's Kelly. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Kelly to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. On first down, Simpson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The Bills on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Continuing to steadily move the ball down the field. Not big play after big play, but these moderate gains getting them first downs. And you know what they add up to, right? If you continue that pace and you continue to move it downfield, they add up into six points. That's exactly what you're looking for. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? For yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 43. They'll run on first down. It's Simpson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down and eight. Now Kelly. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slam. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 30. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action, it's Kelly. Oh, he's got a man wide right open, complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. 30 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Denver's offense ready to go again. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They'll wait to throw on second. Incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie. But that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, Elway. That is caught. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. Inside give to Davis. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. On first down, Elway. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now Elway to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Elway. That is caught by Johnson. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Elway. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Elway to throw. Got a man, it's Johnson, end zone for a Bronco touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos have got it back to within a score. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there.
set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. On first down, it's Kelly. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. On first and 10, Kelly to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Now a first down throw, Kelly. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. This close to the goal line, you got to be very careful with the offense calls rub routes. When I call a pick trying to screen you off from your coverage, does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Kelly. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Kelly to throw. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs! from 19 yards away. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Final play of the half, it's Elway. Got a man right side, it's Sharp. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game.
As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All this right, has Coach, certainly been a fun one much. to watch As so far. We, we knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not three. been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. And the Broncos' offense set to begin this third quarter. On well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have the plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run it again here with Davis. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On third down, Elway. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Elway on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just what they need, electric for me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Elway. This one caught by Davis. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Again, it's Elway. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. You don't have to have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half. They're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were in this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Kelly. Out to the left here, the read. Now he's 
inside the 25. Touchdown! A great play there. 78 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Now the try here for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage in a first down. An inside give. Here's Portis. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Now whale throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way home for a Bronco score. A big play there. 46 yards. And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Extra point forthcoming. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Here's Kelly. And the Broncos get there take him down he couldn't get rid of it he takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down defense went three four they got some push from the inside 
And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Kelly. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw, Kelly. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 35. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Kelly. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area. So it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Kelly. In the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 17-yard line. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Kelly to throw. Throw left side is complete to Reed. Will go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw again. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. A great effort there with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach.
Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Denver's offense now set to go. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Elway. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Elway. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Davis running left. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven forthcoming. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down now, it's Little. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. So now on fourth down, Sean Payton's going to turn it over to the field goal unit. This one from 46 yards out. And his kick here is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So that may be not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Bills offense back out onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. On second down, Kelly. 
Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Kelly. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. The Bills send the punter out. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. That's pulled in at the 32. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. Up the middle to Davis. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. To throw is Elway. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Elway to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Little. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Elway looking to pass again. And he's got it. Touchdown, Broncos. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. 
And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. They have to like what they've gotten from him in this game. Think about the accumulation of catches. Eight. The yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now a handoff up the middle. Simpson able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Kelly to throw. And this is Simpson with a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Kelly, incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Operating from the gun, Kelly. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The offense on third down tonight, they've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This will be third and 15. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. A quick throw there is incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's Elway to throw. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up to the late going. But the coverage was there, and this lines up incomplete. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, Elway. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful to get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball 
quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Now a first down throw, Kelly. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A good pickup there, 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Kelly. That's going to be caught by Reed. Four Bills touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bills have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Finding McCaffrey on the slant. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback or center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Little. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Here's a second and eight. Now it's Elway. That's complete to Sharp. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch, good enough for a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now Elway on first down to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now a handoff to Davis. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 73 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. They'll give this up the middle to Portis, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. 
Give him a yard down to the 43. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine. Now whale throw. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. On third down, Elway. And he is caught. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their... And now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First and ten, Elway. He's got his man sharp, complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Slants are so tough to cover because everything happens so fast. But sometimes it happens too fast for the guy catching the ball because all of his movements have to be quick off the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden the ball's right on top of you. And maybe he got a little bit ahead of himself there. Yeah, a lot of times coming in with good pace, and he dropped it. On second down, Elway. Got a man right side, it's sharp. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Throwing again, it's Elway. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They hand it off to Portis, and he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Broncos have cut it back within a score. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news, and we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Kelly. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. After the incompletion, here now third and two. Now Kelly. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. stop it hits at the eight but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback and we get another look now at this Broncos offense well certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time now Charles remember they had the short field they took it in the end zone now this is going to have to be a longer more sustained drive if they want to get points yeah a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field and you're exactly right about that but now backed up a little bit what's that old expression we love to use time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again on first down Elway so many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them but sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Up the middle they go. It's little. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Elway. And that will be incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They'll run on first down. Simpson, and he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. 
six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Simpson. And some room to work. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. A play fake. Now Kelly. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 18. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you can hear it in your voice, that one more stop. <laughs> feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.